How you doing? I'm Nick Arbella and this is me and my wife's RV. I'm just going to run real quick through it just to show you all the features. Um, I'll just start here at the front. On the front here you have like a, a movable window that you can open and close. So when you're driving, you can just open and close it like that. You have your gas bottle here which also runs the fridge as well as the furnace and the... Um, what am I missing? The furnace, the fridge, Fringe. and the stove. You have your battery. So if this is disconnected with the generator that we have, you can run all of this off, off, the, off the grid so you don't need to connect to anything. If you can come over here, maybe you just show them the specs real quick on here. Just, I don't know if you'll catch it on the camera, but that shows you the specs. I'll put that on there as well. Over here, if you see, this is one of the cargo hatches. Really easy to access. It also has a holder. This, hap this is on both sides. So you can access the storage under under the uh, under the bed. You have your city water connection, and then if you want to, it has two tanks. If you can just go in there and show them, it's it's got the fresh water tank. Go fire under that. That's the fresh water tank, and then it's got your gray and black water tank towards the back. So you can actually store waste water and fresh water on your RV while you're driving. Okay, over here you have your cable and satellite connections. You have your power hookup over here with the extension cord. Um, these tires are actually nitrogen filled. I'll show you the sticker on the other side. The chocks that uh, come with it. Here's your, here's your drain so when you're dumping, you go over there. Your scissor lifts for uh, leveling and, and lifting the vehicle. Um, this is your cargo access door. This is the bottom bunk that we'll see later on. Under here, you can put in more storage and stuff Bicycle. like that. Bicycle, this is actually the bicycle entrance. This is your exit, emergency Fly exit lights right as well. Um, you got full, full um, indicator lights all over the place. You got your indicators, but all these up here and on the side all light up. Um, and you, if we should be able to take pictures of that. You have a spare tire. The bumper is actually where your, your um, waste thing goes. This is the awning, which is probably our, our favorite, favorite part. It's adjustable in height. But you can also you can also take it and um, make it a little hardier. So if you're having like a lot of wind and stuff, you can do that to both sides, and it'll make it a lot stronger. So you don't have to worry about wind and stuff like that. It all folds in quite easily. Um, let's see. Okay, so out here you have the exterior speakers. Um, you have an outdoor plug if you want. Um, like I told you, nitrogen-filled tires so they don't leak. I've, We've never had to fill those up our entire trip. We probably did like six or 7,000 miles. Um, another cargo hatch, as you see. Okay, I think that's it for the outside. We get another light as well. So if you want an exterior light, that works quite now. Um, here's the door. It has a uh, hydraulic, so it opens up by itself. It doesn't, it's not hard or anything. This, it also has a built-in screen door, which is quite nice. Um, and then if you want to come in, Give them a full shot of everything. So this is the full mattress, and we've actually updated this. This was originally like a really crappy spring, and now it's um, a brand new uh, memory foam mattress. It's never been used, so we figured it'd be nice and give it to you guys. Um, you got tons of storage up here, all along here, all along here, um, underneath the bed. You have that storage that we talked about on the sides that you're accessible, but you can also access it from under here. This is hydraulic, so I mean, even my wife or anybody can lift that. It's assisted lifting. lifting. Um, here's the table. Now this table actually folds up and will sit on this, and you can take these two cushions and put them on top and use this as a mattress as well. We also have cushion covers that we've made to cover these, so if you want to protect them or anything like that. Um, you have the radio in here. That works quite well. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. So you have that. Two speakers. Two speakers, one over there, one over there, and then the two outside that I showed you before. Um, okay, so if we go over here, we have the mini fridge. So this has got the refrigerator and the freezer inside. And like I said, this runs off of electric and gas as well. Um, we got the, the sink and stuff like that, which can work on water or it has an actual pump built in so when you're not connected and you have like just 12 volt power you don't even need a lot of power just from that battery on the front you can actually run water and stuff like that 
your stove um, connections and stuff like that. You have your vent hood that has a light as well as as well as a fan. Um, I don't have the heavy power hooked up right now. I should have, but um, rest assured everything works. Uh, here's the microwave. Um, that works fine. All of the stuff, by the way, with the generator that we're selling with it works all with the generator. Here's the air conditioner. It, it's way more powerful than you need to. I mean, it cools down in a matter of really like a minute or two, the entire trailer. Um, so you got more, more storage over here, up here, some under the sink. And then you also have, um, you also have the furnace over here. Again, same thing with the air conditioner. I mean, it, we you had to use that a couple times, um, believe it or not. And it, I mean, it heated up real quick. So here's your two bunk beds, real nice up here as well. Um, we didn't actually use our bunk beds. We actually converted this to a, a closet area. So you could do the same thing. It's up to you. Um, but you have your emergency hatch over here. It's also nice to vent and stuff like that. Um, all your lights, by the way, are all just push. So there's lights everywhere and you just push. They're just push, click on, push, click off. Here's your bathroom. Let you go in there first. And uh, you got a toilet, a uh, shower tub as well skylight above the tub which is one, one thing that we really liked because it brings a lot of natural light in there and then you have a vent in here as well with a, an assisted vent fan which is quite nice and i think that's it is there anything else that you can think of um I mean, it's it's not very old. It's 2016. We bought it from the dealer, so I mean, it's it's been amazing. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, but yeah, you guys should uh, come, come check it out. Look. Yeah, come take a look. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so we thought we'd give you um, a little preview of the generator as well. Um, I went back and forth about trying to find a generator over and over again, and I, you know, I'm sure if you've ever looked for a generator, you went through the same thing, Honda, Yamaha, all that shit. So um, this was what I ended up going with, and I am so glad I did because it costed a fraction of the cost of the Honda, and I've had absolutely no problem with it. With it. Um, it's really light. It's got a handle, so you can, you know, wheel it around as you want to. I mean, I'm not that big, and I can lift it, so it's not, it's not that bad. Um, it's 3,100 watts, so it runs the air conditioner and anything else or the microwave and anything else. So, I mean, as long as you're not using the air conditioner and the microwave at the same time, you're fine. Um, but it runs them with absolutely no pro problem. On a full tank, if it's really hot outside and the air conditioner is running continuously, we found it to last around five, six hours maybe. Um, if it's not the air conditioner and you're just, you know, using lights and the refrigerator and stuff like that, I mean, we had it run for like nine to ten hours on a full tank. So, I mean, it only takes two and a half gallons, so it's you're talking not a, not a lot of gas. Um, so, I mean, essentially, it's really easy to start. All you do is you put it into on, pull the choke, and turn it on. And that's, that's it. And then you just pull the cord. And if you, if you see, like... I'm talking right here, you can probably still hear me. It's not very loud. And actually what's even better about it is it's got an eco setting. So now if you're not using the air conditioner or anything like that, you can still use them. It'll just, it'll bring it back up to idle. But right now, I mean, if you're not using your air conditioner or anything, it's super quiet. And so that's great. I mean, if you just, if we just walk to the other side of the trailer, real quick. I mean, we're not even on the other side of the trailer. And I can, I can like almost whisper. I mean, it's really quiet. So we found that it was useful. We even used it at night in RV campsites because they don't always come up, come with hookups and stuff like that. And nobody that ever That saves you it. money in it the long run. It saves you one. tons of money. I mean, you're talking about two and a half gallons, maybe three gallons for an entire night. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, it's it's really nice. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's, that's all it is. It's super easy to work on. You saw she showed you where you put on the gas. That's it. I mean, it's, it's